Back when I was young, we believed there were nine planets in our solar system. But in 2006, something surprising happened. Astronomers decided that Pluto was too small to be called a full-fledged planet. It was like a cosmic plot twist. However, this story doesn't end there. There's an exciting possibility. Imagine not just one, but maybe ten planets in our solar system. You see, Pluto and a few other small celestial bodies live in a region called the Kuiper Belt, which is like the attic of our solar system, filled with space debris. In the 2010 S, scientists noticed something strange. Some of these Kuiper Belt objects were acting a bit unusual. They suggested a hidden giant planet, Planet 9, five to ten times bigger than Earth, could be out there playing gravitational games. Planet 9, if it exists, has a mind-boggling orbit. The Kuiper Belt hangs out around 30 to 50 times the distance between Earth and the Sun, which is about 150 million kilometers. But Planet 9's journey takes it as close as 270 times that distance and as far as 820 times. It has a year that lasts tens of thousands of Earth years. Incredible, right? But here's the twist. We haven't actually seen it yet. We need concrete proof before we can declare it our tenth planet. Now let's venture even farther out. Think of the Oort cloud as another mystery zone like Planet Nine. It's a hypothetical place so far away that it's as faint as a distant star. Imagine it as the deep, dark wilderness of our solar system. The Oort cloud might start at about 2,000 times the Earth-Sun distance and stretch halfway to our nearest star, Proxima Centauri. Although we can't see it directly, we believe it's there, a vast realm of icy space rocks and hidden comets, like the ultimate cosmic wilderness. Now we're talking about the Oort cloud, a place so distant it's like the next star's backyard. You might wonder why it exists at all. Well, let's rewind a bit. When our solar system formed, it was like a big cosmic construction project. You had this enormous cloud of gas and dust, and it all collapsed to create our sun and its family of planets. But this process was like a cosmic roller coaster, lots of stuff moving around chaotically. Where there's stuff, there's gravity, and sometimes it's like a cosmic tug of war. In fact, sometimes, due to the gravitational muscle of a planet like Jupiter, a planet might get kicked right out of the solar system. These are the rebels, called rogue planets. Surprisingly, recent research in 2023 suggests there might be more of these cosmic drifters than planets tied to stars, but not every object gets flung so far. Some just end up in a super distant orbit way out in the Oort cloud. The question is, could this happen to a big enough object that we'd call it a planet? Specifically, could there be a mysterious planet 10 circling the sun thousands of times farther away than Earth? Well, in 2023, some clever astronomers ran simulations to investigate this very idea. Unlike previous models, they took into account that forces from outside our solar system can mess with things inside it. So, some objects that used to be cast away in previous simulations now found themselves stuck in the Oort cloud. By running these simulations, they figured out there's about a 7% chance that an ice giant like a cousin of Uranus or Neptune could get booted from the inner solar system and live its life in exile among the Oort cloud. It's not the most likely scenario, but it's not impossible either. Just remember, the case for Planet 10 is even more of a cosmic mystery than Planet 9. The scientists behind these simulations were like cosmic detectives, they wanted to see if, by some twist of fate, a planet could end up in these distant places. Now comes the exciting part, finding them. But here's the challenge. It's a bit ironic. If these planets were in another star system far, far away, we might have a chance at spotting them. But because they're right here in our solar system, it's like searching for a needle in a cosmic haystack. Imagine this. They won't pass in front of our sun from our perspective, so we can't use the same method we've used to find distant exoplanets, where we watch for tiny dips in a star's brightness. 
And since they're so dim and far away, getting a clear picture is like trying to take a photo of a firefly on the moon. Not impossible, but incredibly tricky. Moreover, both these planets, if they exist, would probably have weird stretched out orbits that are tilted compared to Earth's. We don't know exactly how weird, which makes aiming our telescopes in the right direction a real challenge. Our only hope might be a technique called gravitational microlensing, currently used to hunt for rogue planets between other star systems. It works by bending and magnifying starlight when a planet briefly passes in front of a distant star. We might not see the planet directly, but we'd catch a flash of light and know something massive caused it. So, between the enigmatic Planet 9 and the long-shot Planet 10, our understanding of our solar system could change one day. It's a bit thrilling to think about, but like and subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos like this one. Thank you for